In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to use the try slots here on the left. This tutorial will be split into two parts. We're going to start on the classic side of the software, and then after that, we will be on the extended side of the software. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to, to create by try quad wheels, composite charts, sinistry grids, all using the try slots. You can also use these chart slots when you're using the top 12 charts in add form here. To start off with, I'm going to show you how to select charts. First way to do that is to click on the number of the chart slot you want to replace. Click on the chart to go into that slot and as you can see it is updated with that particular piece of information. Let me go back to the single chart slot. If you want to know what has been calculated or what chart is in that particular slot, you can click on the white bar and it will tell you what is in there. For instance, because this is a blue line and I'm on the classic side of the software, this chart has been calculated from the extended side. The extended side, you can use charts from both the classic and the extended side at the same time. On the classic side of the software, you can only use charts from the classic side. These blue chart slots here will not be available uh, to any charts you create or by toy wheels, etc. on the classic side of the software. These charts are stored in memory. Black charts are not. If I want to know the chart information for this chart I created here, click the drop down button and it will tell me what it is. Even though these charts that are blue are stored in memory, it will still give me information about what has been calculated there. For instance, this is a secondary progress chart with SolarArc MC and this is the date and time that it has been calculated for. The other way of selecting charts for a particular chart slot is drag and drop. Simply left click, hold the mouse button down, drag it as you as you move it. You'll see that you've got the um, the circle with a with a cross to it, and then drag it to the chart slot that I want it to be in. The mouse pointer again sh changes to show me that I've got a chart on the uh, on the arrow. Let go, drops it straight in. Now, if I want to do a, let's say for instance, for Adam, I want to do a progress chart, a transit chart, a directed chart, and then I want to combine all four into a quad wheel, I would first need to create the charts for this particular person because this is the classic side I have to do everything manually. So to start off with change from home to progressed click on transit we're gonna do it for today West Palm Beach is fine which is where this particular person was born click on OK there we go progress chart same thing uh, we could also change it from secondary to so we'll arc MC for the angles, click on OK. I'm going to go ahead and do a directed chart. Click on OK. Now we've got his chart in slot one. I'm going to grab his transit chart, put it in slot there. Try progressed, put it here, and just change up a bit. Go ahead four. Click on that one. Go back to one. Got those four charts selected. Change the menu on the right by try wheels. Click on quad wheel, and there we go. Center is Adam. Middle inner is the transit chart. Middle outer, progress chart. Outer is your directed chart. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if we wanted to do a sinistry grid, etc., go to Adam. Find somebody else, Tony Blair, why not? Over here, Sinistry Grid, 
there we go I can also change the menu here we can go to Sinistry do a Davison chart if you get this message this means I've not confirmed who I want to be in slot number two There we go, two charts, Davidson, it'll ask if you're sure, click on OK, there it is, secondary chart, there's that particular chart. Now, moving on to the extended side, I have even more options than I did before. You'll now notice that at the end of these three lines, there are now drop-down buttons, and I'll go into these quickly. If I hit the drop down button, I have another new chart option. I have the get quick chart option and I have save to database. For instance, if I hit this, go to progress chart, this is the chart that's been created. Go to Tony Blair. This has been recalculated for Tony Blair. Hit the drop down button save to database there's the progress chart I just created for Tony Blair this ability to store charts in memory and only save them when necessary cuts down on a lot of clutter in your chart database which is one of the benefits of the extended side so again we hit the drop down button here we'll put in a transit chart here put in progress chart here, put in a directed chart. These are all calculated on the extended side. If I go to classic, you'll see they're all in blue. These are all stored in memory. I can then go ahead and create a quad wheel. I have, as you notice here, I've not cluttered up my chart database with these charts that I've just created. And there we go. There's, there's the chart that I wanted. If I go back to a by wheel, I'm just using these two, I can also swap them so that I have transit on the inside here Tony Blair's chart on the outside and unswap them if I need to change the default for secondary progress chart which is secondary progress solo arc MC you hit the drop down button here go to secondary charts go to progress chart I can then change the location change the date time etc but in this particular case secondary MC click on OK there we go instead of being a solar arc MC chart it now is a secondary MC chart I can go further down into the list there are returns charts I can do a phase angle return etc now transform charts these are used in uh, specialized branches of, of astrology put a planet on, on a cusp if I'd like Moon, first cusp, click on OK. If I swap the charts, there's the moon, first house cusp. And anything you put in these particular chart slots can also be used with other tools. For instance, if I come over to Tools and go to Sinistry, and here's the transit chart and Tony Blair chart that I have selected over here. This concludes the tutorial for WinStar 4, how to use the chart slots. Thank you for watching.